apply and build so in this video we are going to see how do we scrape instagram data if i want to download any of the reels or anything from like uh, if i find something to be useful so how do i get that how do i download that by scraping instagram so for that we need to install a library first that is pip3 install and then it's insta hyphen scrape i already have that installed on my machine so that is why it will be already satisfied for me and then we can just let start the code so the code is like i start from importing the libraries that is from insta scrape from insta scrape i import a reel so that's an object then i also import time now whenever you are scraping something you need a session id so i'll just comment out it here that i need a session id so for the session id i just create a variable that will be session id is equals to and then you can paste anything here like paste session id like that and now we need some headers <clears throat> which i've already uh, written it somewhere so i just have headers with the session id so that will be using the gecko driver and that's the session id here so i need that variable same as i had declared it earlier so i just write session id so these both variables are same now now i just have to pass the instagram reel link so i just pass the instagram reel link so i just create a variable insta and underscore reel is equals to now that will use the reel object not the headers but the reel but the real actual reel here so what we are doing is we are we are just copying and pasting some real <coughs> id here so i just okay so i just need that in double quotes or single quotes so i just delete one of those now i have that now i'll pass this reel or this insta reel to the headers now so i'll just scrape it so i have the object insta reel dot scrape and it will use the headers as headers headers as headers and now i just want to print something first is i want to store that somewhere so i'll just use the method insta reel dot download and where it will be downloading it will be downloading somewhere like i'll be using like fp is equals to and then f and then i'll just declare some value here where i'll be storing the reel here and just copying and pasting it so i just copy and paste the path where i want to store the reel so i will i had we have imported the time earlier so that time was to know that at what time did we download the reel so that is why and then once this is done we'll just pass or we'll print print success message so that will be printing our success message after this is done so i'll be just printing print that is download successful that's it so we are done with the code now let's give it a try let's give it a run so when i run it it will start downloading and it will tell me that yeah the download was successful and if i just go to the folder where the where we have mentioned that is data structures and uh, so if we go to this folder and we check for the reels <coughs> so it's whatsapp auto so here and inside this we have the reel which is downloaded so we can check the timestamp or, or else we can do it once more 
I just don't delete all of them now first so that we don't have anything and now let's just uh, run this again so once we run it and then we check so we have a reel which is downloaded here so that's from the so this is being downloaded so this way we download or we scrape the Instagram data for useful purposes and uh, that's it thank you